Okay, in this question, we're uh, required to evaluate this definite integral. Notice it's a definite integral because it has uh, limits of integration 0 to pi on 3 of the function sine squared 2x minus pi on 3 uh, with respect to x. Right, we have a number of things that we need to uh, make sure we understand about this function. One, it is a sine squared function, and we do not have an integral for sine squared uh, by itself. So we're going to have to need to change this. Secondly, it's a function of a function because it's the sine squared of 2x minus 3. So our first um, objective will be to see if we can change this um, function to get it into a, just a sine squared function and then we'll deal with the sine squared function itself. So it seems apparent that the best thing to do is to introduce a dummy variable here for 2x minus pi and 3. So we'll do that first. We'll say u is equal to 2x minus pi on 3. Therefore du in differential form is going to be 2 dx. Now this is looking very much like this term up here, dx, and so this would imply then that a half du is equal to dx. And so we straight away have a substitution for dx. Uh, further, um, we need to change the uh, integral, um, the limits of integration, so we say, alright, well when x is equal to zero, what does u become? u becomes 2 by 0 minus pi on 3, which is negative pi on 3. Uh, secondly, when, you, uh, when x is equal to pi on 3, u becomes 2 by pi on 3 minus pi on 3, which will be pi on 3. So consequently, we now have um, new uh, uh, limits of integration, and our integral will become let me do it here. Our integral becomes 0, uh, sorry, from negative pi on 3, where 0 was, to pi on 3 of sine squared u by a half du, which of course becomes the integral from negative pi on 3 to pi on 3. Uh, let's bring the half out of sine squared u du. Right, so we have our integral in terms of uh, just the sine squared. Now, as I mentioned, we don't actually have an integral for sine squared, so we need to look for some way we can reduce this sine squared to something that doesn't have a power of a trig function. And you'll, you may recall that we do have an identity uh, for half angles, and uh, you'll see this on page uh, 26 of the textbook, which says that the sine squared of u would actually be equal to 1 minus the cos of 2u divided by 2. So this is the identity. Okay. Now, if that's the case, let's replace... Uh, our sine squared with this identity. So the integral would become negative pi on 3 to pi on 3 of 1 minus cos 2u on 2 du and we have an a half out the front. Alright, so if we uh, remove the uh, half, this uh, dividing by 2, the integral will become 1 quarter integral from negative pi on 3 all right, to pi on 3 of 1 minus the cosine of 2u du. Right, so this is where we uh, are at the moment. We have 1 minus cos 2u is what we have to find the integral of. Okay, so let's uh, look at doing that integral. Right, so here we go. We're looking at 1 quarter. The integral of negative pi on 3 to pi on 3 
of 1 minus cos of 2u du. So this is equal to 1 quarter. Alright, so we apply the uh, fundamental theorem of calculus, so this will be u, um, and of course the uh, integral of cos will be sine 2u. We have to compensate for the t uh, 2u, so we have to divide by 2. That will make it a half here. Notice if I differentiate this, I'd get cos 2u times 2, so that will be cos 2u. Alright, and uh, so now what we need to do is uh, evaluate this between negative three, uh, pi on 3 and pi on 3. Okay, so let's see if we can evaluate this. All right, we put uh, pi and 3 in here for u. So that's our first one. And now we subtract, putting negative pi and 3. And we've applied the the uh, fundamental theorem of calculus, so we've put the uh, pi and 3 in here and we've subtracted putting the negative pi and 3 into the same uh, result of the integration. Now let's see if we can simplify this. We'll have pi on 3 minus a half by, now the sine of 2 pi on 3 you'll probably recall is actually root 3 on 2 Okay, we're going to subtract uh, negative pi on 3 makes positive pi on 3. We're going to uh, uh, subtract negative a half, so the negative by negative is a positive a half, and we need the sine of negative uh, 2 pi on 3, so negative 120 degrees, so that will be negative root 3 on 2. Okay. All right, and now we move along with our simplification. So we have a quarter. We've got uh, 2 pi on 3. We've got a negative uh, root 3 on 4. And a negative root 3 on 4. So we've got negative 2 root, th root 3 on 4. So this is going to be negative root 3 on 2. And now when we put the uh, quarter, distribute the quarter through, we're going to have... Uh, pi on 6 minus root 3 on 8 and that is the value of our uh, integral.